Hello and welcome back to Lost in Random. Um, was it? Oh no. I was a little bit of ahead of myself. I thought the gate was earlier. Bye, kid! You want crispy twigs? What? It's love, crispy twigs. Can mm, like. mm -hmm. answer your question? Yes. Business is slow. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Sell us to eat socks. Get your socks here. Sell us to eat socks. Get your socks here. Yeah, definitely cool. Uh, no. Sock two packs. One for each of you. It's the perfect pair for the perfect pair. Mm. Oh, really? Here, smooth and silky. Food's not nice unless it's been chewed twice. Really? Oh. Oh. I got super juice here. Hey kid, I'm selling crispy twigs here. Crispy twigs to trade. You want a free sample of super juice? Too bad. Two flavors okay. of super juice. You know you can have it. Oh. Oh. Why the long face? I need inspiration. I'd trade my Gobble Gregor for a flash of genius. I'm through Pipkin, by the way. I am an artist, but not with paints or music. My art is the art of trading, and I want to push the art forward. Trading Gobble Gregors is so routine. I want to trade something that hasn't been traded before. Say, you wouldn't be willing to trade for that costume your friend is wearing, are you? Um, as a matter of fact... Nah, never mind. Mm. Whatever he's dressed up as, it's too close to a dice. No market for dice costumes. They're just as illegal and forgotten as the real deal. If you ever have anything to trade, you'll come see me, right? Especially something unusual. Sure thing. Excellent. Keep your eyes peeled. I have no idea what you would like, but... Sure. Are you okay? Oh, uh, the fact that are you, the two of you okay? Help! Help! I'm being attacked by robots. Did you steal something? My stock is twice. I got a fifty percent yeah. off sale. That's twice as cheap as normal. Thank you. Shroud, get your fresh shroud. Oh, cool Straight dance out costume, of the kid. Careful, you don't get interested in it. The heart of Two Town was even greater and bigger and scarier than in the most outlandish stories she'd heard the Junkers What's tell over there? One grove. See that? I love the upside down town. It's a whole second to town. Lots of people do. And I can't stand them. I hate that stupid thing. It's a huge mistake. I uh, that's quite the change in opinion. I have always been consistent in this. It sucks. By which I mean it rules. You're changing personalities much faster than the others. Yeah, that's kind of my whole thing. But one thing will always remain consistent. My love for the upside downtown. It's beautiful and great and... I hate it. Worst idea we ever had. Brilliant in both conception and execution. A disaster in waiting that will... Make everyone happy. To die one day, 
so that they can escape this horrible monster city. And then go to heaven, which will be exactly like the new Upside Downtown. Uh, you know, it's okay to find something just okay. You know, my doctor said the same thing. The getting so overwhelmed with the upside downs of this world all the time wasn't good for me. I called him an insensitive low roller and left. But maybe this time I should listen. Yeah, mm. maybe you should. Hi, kids. Hi. Hello. Two of you for two town, right? Indubitably, we're twins. We finish each other's sentences. We double each other's happiness. We share each other's husbands. We multiply each other's. Wait, 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 what? What? You said we share each other's husbands. Yep. I don't. You've been kissing my husband. Uh. Oh my God! Two timer. It's double the fun. Please excuse us. We need to talk about this. Sorry. Yeah. How do we get up there? Well, there's the ladder. Okay, so we definitely have to go over there, but I oh, I see a way up there. Oh god. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, we can get up there. Great. And what do we have up here? Oh, please tell me it's not just that. It is just that. Oh, bummer. Where are all those pages? Let's see what we have up here. That's a spiffy nice costume, kid. <laughs> My grandmother told me about him. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so this is a side thing. Where's yours? Okay, we have. We should have four. Yeah. Oh no, it's two. Okay, give me that. Give me that. Oh, why dodged? I'm still fighting the same weapon I do. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Let's see. That wasn't very good. Yeah. Give me that. Give me that. And give me that. That's all. Oh, that was bad. Hand already. God damn it. That's very bad. Nope. Oh god damn it. Run. You first. I'm <laughs> not very good with Range weapons and controller. Who fought it through? Who? 
Acknowledge that. Are you serious? You saved my bacon there, kid. You're welcome. Look, let me repay you with a deal. I'm looking to trade a weird looking four sided skull for a gobble gregor. That'll be just the thing I need to gobble greg my way out of future robot trouble. What do you say, kid? Uh, what's a gobble gregor? You don't know what a gobble gregor is? Ah, forget it then, kid. But, you know, do come back if by any chance you happen to find one. Okay... Yeah, thanks. Oh, I saw some... Oh, there it is. Do we have it as a quest then? Mm. Not really. God damn it, get down there. It's, ah! I hate when the game does that, the change of perspective without adjusting controls. Can we jump down? That is such a creative dice costume. No way, Ronaldo, Words are you seeing this? for sale. Who What's wants to buy a word? Here's one for free. Syzygy. Where did you go? Oh, what? Okay. We know you already. Oh, let's start with you. Hello! Can I interest you in a potion? Sure? Wait a minute. I don't know you. I only sell potions to my regular customers. I don't give out my art willy-nilly. Oh. You're not from around here, are you? You must feel lost. Mm -hmm. It would be logical to give her a summary of the town that she finds herself in. I was getting to that. Jeez. <clears throat> It would be logical of me to give you a summary of the town you find yourself in. As you may have noticed, we're big into duality here. Even though it has its not unsubstantial downsides. By the card makers, I'm speaking, Jorid! Is this normal? Split personality. Though ours is more unfortunate than most. Jared and I don't agree on very much these days. Uh, is everyone here double like this? Ah, a keen question suggesting a logical mind. Everyone in two town is split, but it's not always the same way. I am fated to always be battling my other half, but even on my worst days, I know that it's fair. We battle it out and it's a great system! As you can see, Jorid and I are in conflict a lot. We want different things in, in business, in life, in love. In that some of us don't want love because it's an illogical distraction. And some of us want to get mad kissy. Also, we are at loggerheads over the direction of our business. But not for long. I am working on a potion to decide this once and for all. A potion? Yes, a potion to decide who is in charge. Whoever drinks it will be the leader once and for all regardless of what the dice say. Which will be me. You misspoke. As anyone could clearly see that I am intended to be the one in charge. If you simply reason it out, you'll see that... You know what? I have had it with your condescending and your precious logic. An emotional and frankly embarrassing response. Dare I say cringe worthy? Ugh, you two enjoy talking. I'm out of here. La 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 la, can't hear you. La 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 la, can't hear you. Ah, we have a few moments of privacy. 
there is one thing. That potion I mentioned. I need ingredients to finish it. And I'm afraid time is of some matter because my partner is working on a similar potion. One that will lock me out for good. It's logical, therefore, that I finish my potion first. So if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I would appreciate it. Uh, okay. I can barely hear you with these fingers in my ears, but that sounded like a yes? Excellent. I require three blues. Unremarkable organisms distinguished by their loud screams. Listen for their sounds and you'll find them. And don't worry about harvesting them for my experiments. My research indicates that it is actually quite ethical and logical for me to do this. Uh, what if the... Oh, sorry. What if the blobs don't want to become soup? I assure you it makes no difference to them. They load their existence all the same. All I require is that you find three bloobs for me, and I'll have all that I need. Oh, and there's a mighty reward in it for you. In conclusion, what I've said is highly intriguing, and if I were you, I'd go find those bloobs. Promptly. Farewell, kind stranger. He's gone, yeah? I think so. Perfect! Uh, listen, before you go, that potion that we're working on, I need ingredients first to finish it. Because as soon as he gets control again, my partner is going to invent a potion to log me out for good! There's no stopping him. It's logical. So, you know, if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I'd be much obliged. Okay. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'll need three bloobs, same as him, but you need to give them to me. Oh, and uh, there's a reward in it for you. I know, it's so intriguing. If I were you, I'd go find those ingredients to discover what it is. <laughs> They'll give me a headache. Um... Hmm? You we already know. There's no reason to kill you. I'm gonna call up my sleeve. Low, in my chest, number two, up my nose, come up to random. And I'm gonna call up my sleeve. Good. In my chest, oh up in nose, up Do I ever shut up? Everywhere. Let's and no, did the number two inspire all to praise the queen for twice as long. And lo, did the queen bless us with not one, but two towns oh. and two moons rather than simply the boring one. And lo, did my other side have nothing of interest to preach. Why, you, today is my day. <laughs> Behold, the door to Three Town. Alas, the door was sealed shut, and only a roll of a three would open it. But Evan's friend was one dot short. He could only roll a one and a two, and Evan would have to find a way to upgrade him. Strange. What's up with these little guys? Well, I wonder if they could fix you. What's with that chess piece over there? I'm not, I'm not curious about that. Exactly, yep. I'm not curious anymore. Ugh. Reach the end? Roll your dice and defeat all enemies. It's that simple. You're stuck in a giant board game. Okay, this is a special type of encounter where in the two you must complete an objective. The goal of this board game is simple, bring the playing piece to the end tile. Rolling dicey, the playing piece will take an amount of steps equal to the roll's result, as soon as you increase time. When the playing piece lands on this tile, a slow time bubble will spawn there. Any adversaries or projectiles caught inside will be held down. Land the playing piece here and the treasure bird comes flying over the arena, shoot it to make it drop to its treasure. Is a fight changing things like okay? No. Wait, I see Go over there. Hey, 
I didn't use it? Okay, I didn't use it. So. Seemed as though Dicey was affecting that giant board game. A slow time bubble has appeared. I don't care about it, really. I have to do this throw Dicey. Oh, now I care about that. Incoming treasure. Where? Hey, okay, Dicey, go get it. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. No, 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 I don't want to. You can do this. Okay, fine. We can use that. Is we ready to bubble that slows time has appeared? We have to kill them. Well, I would. It's better for us not to kill them, actually. Hey, hey, hey. Get him, Dicey! <laughs> oh, give me that. I might as well get that. Good. Good, good, good. What the hell? Okay. Game yeah, Master, if a board game piece is present, it moves one additional tile. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice indeed. Oh, dice! Child! Yes, you! Come closer. You, child. I believe we can be useful to each other. Okay. Um, can you help me find my sister? She looks like me. Uh, not in a direct way. But there is something else you may be able to achieve in the meantime. You see, I've noticed that you have a dice with you. <laughs> Uh, that's all nice, it's a dog in a costume. Right, a good act, child. You'll need your wits to survive what's coming, I'd wager. So, let's say, hypothetically, you have a dice, which of course you don't. Of course. Which means you, hypothetically, have experience in their identification and a true nature. Mm-mm. I've heard tell of a dice circulating Cellar Street. Of course, it's been so long since a true dice has been here. People don't entirely recognize it for what it is. And if these rumors were true, well, I dare say you could be the one to find it. The folks dimly sense it has value. They treat it as something rare and unique. Say, a fossil. Not knowing its true value. Its true nature. I believe someone like yourself could trade for it. Or at the very least, trade up to it. Hypothetically, of course, and 
did, if you did hypothetically succeed in possessing such a dice, well, I'd be interested, and I'd make it worth your while. Worth your while, indeed. Okay, I'm lost. Uh, how am I supposed to find a second dice? I've heard stories around Cellar Street. There's all sorts of strange items for trade there. And if you can't find it directly, you could trade until you do. I've told you all I can. Oh, except... Except... Except that I've heard whispers that someone is buying words, and someone else is selling them. And that would be where I'd start. Okay. Make yourself useful, child. I heard the lady that was trade selling Trade and trade until, before you know it, you've got your hands on one of those dangerous, awful, deadly dice. Then, you give it to me, and I will take care of it. Cool. Oh, got them. So I need to get back. Okay, we'll go to Sour Street first. Oh, there's another guy. Quiet down! I'm old and I'm tired, and I demand you respect that. You can't hear that, can't you? No. That noise! Uh, dang it. I'm trying to sleep, and that blabbed bloob is up on my roof making a ruckus. Mm -hmm. Okay, what can I do? Lady, you'd do an old man's heart good if you could see your way to clearing those dang bloobs off my roof! Okay, poor. All I want to do is nap. I'm old! I've spent more hours awake than anyone, and I deserve some moments of blessed unconsciousness. Quiet unconsciousness. Mm. You'll help me, won't you? I'll reward you or something. I'll do what I can. Thank you, little one. You've made an old man's heart want to fill with hope, which will happen as soon as this old man's ears are no longer filled with cotton to keep that darn noise down. Please don't dawdle now. I'm very old. Yes, okay, sure. Some of us are trying to sleep. Oh. Okay, and I. Oh, 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 up here. Are you bloop? Is it the language? Are you talking to me? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna end this conversation now. Okay, so we get the bloop. Perhaps the most useless creature in random, or so the powers that would be have us believe. Eh. Wait, uh, really? Come on. Oh, come on. Thank Is you, little one. My reward, old one, thank you. Well, that was one bloop. Did we use that? I don't think we did. Well, have you gotten the ingredients yet? Uh, not all. I have some. I need all of them. He means I need all of them. Can we find six? <laughs> There's the lady who's willing to sell her words. I got words for sale here. I'm wondering if you'll trade me your rarest word. My rarest word? <laughs> That's a tall order. Um, what do you have to offer in trade? A dog. Let's hear it. Why did the number six fear the number seven? Why? Because seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, seven, eight, nine. Ugh, keep that joke. I don't want it. What do you have to offer in trade? Okay, let's try again. Let's hear it. Uh, how do you get down from an elephant? How? You don't? You get down from a duck? Oh, down. Like as in duck feathers. 
Ah, uh, sorry. Not a fan of puns. I don't no get it. Trade. What do you have to offer in trade? Let's hear it. What's brown and sticky? What? A stick. That is worth only the most common word. Here you go. The. Enjoy. It's worthless and nobody will trade you for it. What do you have to offer in trade? A rare word. Wait. I'm listening. A word that's easy on the eyes. It's isom. It's attractive, I think. It sounds gross. Like you're putting something in your eye. Gross. No thanks. No trade here. What do you have to offer in trade? <sighs> An even rarer word. Mm. Well, I can't do anything for me, say it. But I'm listening. Mm, a word that describes the process of learning itself. The adlubescence. It means enjoyment. How does a small girl like you know an adult word like that? Herman, an old drunker in Montan told me. Adlubescence. Oh, learning it is a pleasure. The breath of the essence sound, the mouth feel of adlube. Oh, the rarity of it. Oh, oh, this is a word I can definitely sell. Tell you what, I'll give you a great word in exchange to. Oblectament. Oblectament? Close. Oblectament. It means a source of delight. For example, learning adlubescence is an oblectament. Thank you again, kid. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. Bye. It's been an, an oblectament doing business with you. Beautiful. Use it well, kid. Who wants to buy a word? I got Clinomania. Mm, it means source of delight. Now, who in South Street would trade something? Probably for a good home here. It means one. Get your fresh shrub straight out of the tube. That's dinner for two. Would you like some? I threw any trace while I was away. Not the one. You wouldn't happen to have anything, would you? I've got a word I'll trade you for something. A word? Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be a whole new marketplace. What's the word? Oblectament. Oh, that is a beautiful word. Oblectament. I would like some oblectament, please. Yes, it is a good word, and that means it has value. Any anything with value, I can trade. Oh, this is going to be great! Let me compensate you for that word by giving you a Gobblegregor in exchange. Oh, okay, we need They're very futuristic. What's a Gobblegregor? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine not knowing what a Gobblegregor is. Hilarious. You're all right, kid. Good sense of humor. Here's the Gubble Gregor. Just be sure not to use it in full reverse. We all know what happens then. We sure do. Great, kid. Yeah. One could gub Gubble Greg anything with his baby. One could also try that in South Street for something valuable. Hello. What's your name, little dude? Really? Wow. Have you heard any cool blue rumors? Interesting. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Okay, the guy, in you go. Oh, I wonder what's that about. I can't throw it. Mm. Now the guy for the goober grabber is up there. Get your fresh Straight out of the tube. That's for two. So we'll talk to him. And then we'll end this part. There you go. Please, trade the Gubble Gregor to me. I'm sure this skull I'm offering is invaluable. It must be. It's darned old. Let's trade. Thank you. 
Here, have this, uh, fossilized skull, I think. Strangely four-sided. It must have come from some sort of ancient extinct animal. Big Red dug it up a while back before... Uh, Give it to me. Forget it, it's not important. But this has got to be the rarest thing in all of Two Town. Thanks, kid. Okay, and that is gonna be it for today, so... An old long dead dice is true in the part of the no dice war. These people want to see this. So, well, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye. I think I heard it. I heard it. I definitely heard it. What was it? There it is. It's up there. Okay. So, bye.